And so, yeah. for the most part, yeah. men set the tone and they just pretty much follow the guy's lead. So in a sense, if the guy feeding them bullshit, they gonna believe that shit. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just coming through the jump, telling them what the fuck it is from the jump, what it is, letting them make their choice for themselves and then just shit, seeing how, you know, acting accordingly. That ain't the case. I was coming in like, oh man, I can see, Oxy is going the long haul. Oxy, oh man, you could be my wife. Oxy is having the future together. Like, I why think men in? fantasize more than women, though. I don't know if they fantasize. It's like they kind of do, but at the same time, I don't know if they do this shit because they feel like they have to or from their experience, they feel like they have to. Because, you know, like, women, we have our fantasies, but we'll step outside of our fantasies and date a guy completely opposite of that. But the Guys, is- y'all have a fantasy in your head of what a woman should be or what a woman is and what you want your woman to be and you kind of move around that like you make sure that that's what you going after you putting yourself in a position to get women like that like i feel like men drive themselves more off of the fantasy of it than women do women i i, I don't know i guess i've seen more women kind of you know get rid of the fantasy in their minds and be like you know what he's not perfect i'm gonna just put up with whatever comes my way type shit. You know, I feel like women, that, that more so, I feel like that's more so implicated once after, from experience. Because I feel like at first when women are young, I feel like they're kind of naive about, you know, what they want or what they can get type shit. And then they get some experience and start figuring out that, you know, not figuring out, but when they come across niggas and shit, niggas be dogs or whatever the case is, like, damn, well, shit. Not trying to say that they ain't the shit, but it's like, well, shit, maybe I ain't the shit that I thought I was type shit. So, I, I, 100% honest. And then, shit, sometimes with that being said, sometimes the niggas that they feel like they can get, maybe y'all not compatible, or maybe you out of that, maybe that nigga out of your league. That's that's the case. I'm 100% honest. I had guys made me feel that way before. It's built. Yeah. I feel like all women have to go through that. I feel like they, they need that humbling experience. That's what it comes down to. And that's, I guess... You could call it a humbler experience, but I find myself like one of the more humble females. That's why I like, like I, I accept myself, motherfuckers for themselves and I accept motherfuckers for that's who they why are. When I say like when I if I talk to a female, I talk to them, I say twenty five and up because I feel like twenty five and up, they've gone through that humbling experience. For the most part, early twenties and especially like eighteen, nineteen year olds, they ain't been through no humbling and fucking experience. There are exceptions, I'll say that once again, but for the most part, they ain't been across no homies. They think they shit. They shit don't stink, especially depending on how, you know, um, they little setup is. They doing the school thing, everything, you know, falling in line, you know. They, then they get that whole, oh, I got a job, I got a car, you know, I got everything. But you got it all that shit now, nah, but that shit can fucking change in a blink of a fucking eye. Okay, so let me ask you, do you think that being attractive plays a part in that? Like, attractive people have more options and when they interact with others, and especially in the dating world. I mean, it depends on who they come across, because, I mean, it don't mean shit if they can't bring shit to the table. But it seems like a lot of times, that's how America is, at least. Because, I mean... All you gotta do is be attractive. You don't gotta... You... Some of these girls can't fucking speak. Some of these models can't talk, like male models. They can't even write a full sentence or manage their own money and shit. But... They're attractive. I mean, but so that's the, all that matters. On the flip side, you got you got some men that skate around off their good looks too. I know so that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that like just like that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Even though I get you know, I ain't gonna lie, I guess after the fact he still became like a model and everything. But the guy that you know, the light skinned dude with the pretty eyes, everybody's going crazy over his fucking mug shot and shit. Like, mm-hmm. oh my god, he's fucking gorgeous. And he, he got a rich bitch now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She a billionaire. Billionaire. You know, she a princess or something. She got uh, oil coming or some shit. She got some money, money. Like, yeah, she she got money behind her. And she went and found this nigga straight out of jail. So it's like, I feel like that attractive shit, it gets you a long way. Like, you don't actually have to have a personality. But there are exceptions to that shit. Like, I, like we didn't talk about this before. You know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't got no, like, sexual criminal record, you can always bounce back. It don't fucking matter. I'll say that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like women give men more benefit than men give us because let's say, okay, we talked about this earlier about if you sleeping with somebody that a motherfucker knew in the past, it's like girls are not as, I guess, standoffish towards shit like that. Guys are. 
I feel like in that sense, but in the flip side, like I feel like it, this is probably kind of like a, a drastic ass comparison, but that's like saying if a woman was on the flip side, she had like in a sense had a sexual record or criminal record, or whatever. But guy came across her, unless he probably doing some real background or if he really thinking about like what type of shit that happened if he got kids in the mix type shit, he probably ain't gonna get no fuck about no shit like that. I don't know, cause it seemed like. Girls will get in a relationship with a serial cheater. He got seven goddamn kids. But I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, it's easy to, for me to say some shit like that, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't too too common that you come across a woman that she got some sexual shit on her, like sexual criminal shit on her background. Hey, you know it's, it's, it's becoming very common. I, I'm about to say it's, it's getting put out there. open. a lot of people who have been arrested this but, year alone for having sex with minors I'm who were boys. But those, but those only ones, though. The only ones that's pretty much on some, like, pedophile shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Uh, what me, was her name? Miss Buchanan? You know what I'm saying? And if you ask me, and I feel like it's, it's going to sound crazy and bad. It, it is. But it's like, they not even catching the worst pedophiles, though. They catching all the ones, for the most part, is catching, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers that's teenagers and in high school. And it's like, that's bad, but it's like, his bitches out here has got 10, 9, 8 year olds, all type of shit like that. You, They steady catching all these men. Granny, it's probably more men doing shit like that. But it's like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you pretty much catching all the women that's in fucking high schools. I'm pretty sure it's men in high school doing the same shit, but it's more women getting caught in the high schools than the men. How the fuck is that possible? It's not even like, okay, so. Well, those that's are just the narrative that they're painting. The, so. That's what they're saying about people who, like, getting caught in the act. But there are a lot more people who don't get caught who still doing that shit. I understand that. But that's or even saying, there's so. people who are doing that shit and they end up going to jail for it because the person came for it. They didn't get caught in the act. But I'm going to say this though. So we can agree. I feel like we can agree just right or wrong. Yes or no. For the most part, a sexual offender is for the most part is going to be a male right or wrong. Sexual offender for the most part is going to be a male. I can't say that based on the things that I know about women. I understand that. That y'all might not know. Like, I women don't always, that. like, there's girl talk that doesn't get back to the guys, but. I understand that. I know of women who go after younger dudes. I understand that. I hear, boy, when I tell you how many guys that I know who had their virginity taken by a grown ass woman. I understand that. Young as hell. Like, that shit common as hell. I heard that so much coming up that I didn't even know it was something wrong with that shit. That shit is so fucking common. So I really can't say that most sex offenders are male. I think males get caught more or it gets turned in about males more. No. But the guys are not reporting this about women because they don't want to admit it. This is why I feel like there are more males because, in a sense... I feel like for psychological, psychologically for women, it plays a different factor. You know what I'm saying? So some males, you know what I'm saying, if they're sexual offenders, it's because they've been abused. Some of them just have a problem. So with the women, it's the same ordeal. So the ones with the problem, I feel like you can kind of like, you could try to isolate from whatever the case. But the ones that went through some shit don't always necessarily become pedophiles. Sometimes they start venturing off and doing other shit. Some of them become, you know, start doing prostitution or, you know what I'm saying, if they really get dark into life, you have a, some of them, shit, believe it or not, they start doing it and working in the porn industry. You know what I'm saying? No, no, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, you know, uh, disrespect nobody or whatever the case is. I'm just, you know, just calling it how it is. You got some of them that working, you know what I'm saying, to the sex industry, shit, whatever the case is, because that's all they know type shit. The thing with men, I feel like, I mean, it's it's possible, but I don't know. I don't feel like them avenues. It's like it's not as many avenues in a sense, like like to work sexually, mm. in a sense. I feel like for a woman, it's more avenues or it's more ways to make it. And then not to even mention, you talking about the women that's like, you know, what I'm saying, getting pimped out and shit like that. That's also prostitution, or whatever. Because like. But I mean, you have male prostitutes out here, but it's nowhere near the same degree as like women prostitution. I mean, I don't know. I still don't know if I can agree with that one. 
like, okay, let's say, okay, if there is male prostitution, for most so it's high scale, high end, for the most part. I know some men who's selling things for a couple dollars. I mean, I know. That's the thing. The more people I talk to and the more open people are with me, and it's crazy. Mm-hmm. People be telling me stuff they don't be telling no one else. And it's weird, I guess, because, like, I'm an open person. People open up to me real easily. Mm-hmm. But, like, when I be hearing this stuff, I'm like, my goodness. Like, nobody knows about this. But I just, like, to me, it's just crazy to me because it seems like, I don't know, it does seem like there are more, well, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case is, like, in the jail system or whatever, it's more males, you know, for sexual crimes than it is for women. But right now, it seems like it's more women getting bumped off in these fucking schools and these high schools as opposed to men. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, just take a moment to, like, think about that. If And then it's like, you hear shit about men. It's like the men be doing shit with little, little kids when they get bumped off. You don't really be hearing, like, no shit about these guys in high school. But we all know for a fact that, you know what I'm saying, it's some shit going on, you know what I'm saying, with somebody somehow with one of these, you know what I'm saying, women, girls and one of these older men. I know a lot of, oh, goodness gracious. I know a lot of guys in high school who's having sex with the teachers, and mm-hmm. I know a lot of females who's doing it. Right. That's why I can't say I. I don't see it like being more. That's what of, I'm saying, but with that being said, it's like why don't you? Why we don't really hear? Why it seems like it's like more women? Because women have a, a a more open network to talk about it. Men, y'all don't talk about that shit. Shit that hurts y'all, y'all hold that shit in. So like. We can come together in a group and say, oh, this happened to me. And it's support, nothing but love. You can't just sit up in a group with like five guys and tell them a female nah, took something it, from it you like without it being like no, it's different. taken as a joke. No, no, no. You can, you can, t- you can talk about it. I can understand that aspect. So but... it's not getting reported. It's not getting talked about. Like it's going back to the police. It's getting in the news because it's getting to the police. These guys are not telling anyone this stuff is happening. So it's it's seeming like it's not happening, but it's still happening. We just not talking about it. It's common as hell. But then I guess because I guess by us, you know, being men, it's like okay, I feel like for some of those situations, I feel like it, with the if, with the women being, you know, what I'm saying the older participant i feel like half those cases is wrong but i feel like in less than half those cases you know what i'm saying some instances i feel like that motherfucking kid or that boy knew what the fuck he was doing no i don't give it that because you, you just said it that's the key word kid boy i know grown-ass men who still don't understand what the fuck they doing and why and you expect me to think that a 16-year-old knows that it's wrong? Because I look at it like this. Because granted, okay, what if she only got to this guy or whatever when he you know, was in high school, he's 16, 17. But before she got a hold to him, he had already been like going crazy with his dick. He had already, you know what I'm saying, been doing his thing. And he seen her and he just got on her and... Some shit happened. But he knew what the fuck he was doing. He knew what he was on. You know what I'm saying? It's like, in that high side, I guess by me being a guy, it's like, but to an extent, because it's like, I do understand by her being on, she does have influence. Like, it's like, because she just knows shit that he don't know. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody telling him, or unless she just fucking goofy. And that's not always the case. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that. You know, some of these women be goofy. They do be goofy, but it's like, shit, if she get them they got 10 years over you, bro, still a, a, a gap. Is a, I ain't gonna lie, still a gap. Definitely still a gap. Because this is pretty much, it's like a pro versus a rookie. Like, <laughs> at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck how, if you could be the baddest motherfucking college player, you don't mean shit, you know what I'm saying? If you go against the, you know what I'm saying, the baddest or one of the 
premier or somebody that's decent, but that's in, you know what I'm saying, professionally, but that, that do this shit. That's it's like the shit. same same analogy. She the bit out here. She the sister. She the best with niggas her age, a little bit older than her. You know what I'm saying? They done gave her the flu flock, so she know what to see. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what the fuck is going on. I feel like if a female is messing with a child or someone underage, it's because they and I go know like, that's nothing. That's a big that flag right there. That's, they that's know that they lie. cannot keep up with men their age. I go like, yeah, that's definitely like a big if flag. you have an attraction to children, that's who you seek out. Like, that's look, what you putting, want. That's what attracts you. It's like, you got a problem catching men your age. Because mm -hmm. like for for the for the male perspective, it's kind of like a 50 50 thing. But it's like you looking at the woman, it's like that shit is a flag. It's like, but it, it ain't like bitch. You couldn't, you know what I'm saying, go swing by one of these college campuses or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You could have went by a college library. You could have got you a nice little right law. And most of these women be attractive. 19, 20, 21. But that'd be the thing. Like, it's like, okay, if you want somebody young, there are like borderline, you know what I'm saying, ages you can go get and nobody gonna say shit. They gonna kind of look at you, but they can't say shit. Like, I don't understand that. Like, you getting popped off with a 16 year old. Like, why not go for 18, 19, 20 year olds? <laughs> Why not go for one of them? You can just as easily pick up one of them. They, they shit, the age is safe as fuck. And you can just as easily go ahead, train them, or do whatever the fuck you feel like you need or want to do. <laughs> and then the fact that you ain't got to worry about being around this motherfucker every day, like, that should be crazy. You jeopardizing your job, like, that should be crazy. But it's common as fuck. It is, though. That's how we understand, like, where the... Because it's like, it's, it's, it's sad, because when we was at school and shit, and motherfuckers was talking about, you know, you heard about different, like, more so, like, the older males and, like, female students. It was fucked up, but it was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It was like, uh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I guess it was kind of like not a norm, but I don't know. I guess like taboo, or I guess because like you heard about it, and then it's like okay, you heard about it for so long, but when that shit happened in Buchanan, motherfuckers like, man, what the fuck is really going on? Like, <laughs> what the <sighs> fuck is really going on out here, bro? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know, like, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's crazy, because it's like, I don't know. It's like, I don't, I don't know. It's so fucking weird. You heard about that shit? Not even just that, but it's like, in hindsight, just like, okay, looking at just as a whole. So in a sense, like, okay, what in this per aspect? What if on both sides of the field? You had an older a woman. She was engaging with a male student. It was nothing sexual. On the other side, you also had, you know what I'm saying, an older uh, male, and he interacting with a female, you know, student, whatever the case is. And it's nothing sexual. And it's like, I don't know. It's like, if you was to see, and if they was to like, you know, hang out, hang out, whatever the case is, until they came of age, and I guess they went about it, if you was to see the old the, the the older woman with this student, even though it was nothing sexual or whatever the case was, and she held out and they waited, whatever the case is, and everything was in order, you gonna still kind of look at her, but it's like, but damn, like, why you fuck with this young ass nigga though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck going on with you? Yeah. And if you look at this guy and he being an older guy and he do all this for a younger girl and he do all this everything. It ain't as mean. It's kind of a side. I was like, damn, you want this young ass girl, but it's not as big. I as be a looking side at side both of their ass crazy. Like these dudes to be doing too much, buying extravagant ass gifts for these little ass girls. Like, what the fuck is going on? That shit is not, you know, and the same with females when they do that dumb ass shit. All right, not with that shit. Find somebody your age. 
No, but I don't know. I, I think it's really it's real and cause like it's like man, people don't want to admit it or when they I guess they do this talking about this whole gender thing. But it's like man, there really is a difference in how women think and how men think. It is. And on the level and the way that women think. You thinking, you know what I'm saying? You seeing that shit and she messed with somebody that much younger, whatever the case may be, you kind of looking like, what the fuck's going on in your head? Like, fuck is wrong with you? But on the opposite side, it's like the man, it's like he older, but it's like the way men think, it's like we don't think on the same capacity as that y'all think. You know what I'm saying? It's like the way, it's like y'all multitask, the way y'all brain multitasks, it's, it's on, I feel like it's on a whole different level than us. I feel like when we have a single task, we can get that shit done. Y'all think about a shit ton of shit <laughs> simultaneously. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can pretty much That's why I like execute. asking guys, like, problem-solving questions, because y'all... That's why I feel like when, when, when a guy in, a, in his head is determined, it's, I feel like it's on a whole different level on a woman yeah. being yeah. determined. Like... Depending on what it is. Facts. Yeah, uh, yeah facts. It depends. Because women get determined about the shit they want to, like shit that niggas would never put I'll the say, time and effort like, into. I, I say, <laughs> I say, it's, I say it's like, I guess I'm willing to say it's like 50 50 or more so, more so higher for y'all, like mentally or mentally to an extent. I think for us, it's, it's more so, more so physically. It's like, yeah. Because <laughs> I guess just all that, I don't know, bravado, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. I feel like, I don't, I really feel like testosterone plays a factor into how we I care. think that's what I was saying earlier. I think that has a lot to do with I mean, cause why I feel men like, are so territorial. Like, yeah. we were saying, like, if your girl has sex like with somebody you know, it's that's all supposedly, it is. like, so is that, like, an assault on your territory type shit? Like, your girl is your territory, and if your guy sleep with your girl, like, that's an assault on your territory. Like, I mean, I guess, but, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm the type of nigga, like, I mean... It's some bravado shit, like you just said. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, in that situation, yeah. yeah. It definitely is, like... I mean, yeah. It's some ego shit. It is. I mean, but that depends on what the fuck I'm doing. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I'm knowing I ain't out here doing shit and some shit, and you come and do some shit, yeah. bitch, what the fuck going on? Yeah. I can hold it down. What the fuck going That's on? That's all I'm saying. But Play if I'm fair. out here doing some shit and I'm going like, well, you know. Like, if you would do out, it, fuck. if you would do this, then you can't knock somebody else for doing the exact same thing you're doing. Play fair. Yeah, exactly. Play fair. That's all I'm saying. So, like, if it's something that you would do, in a relationship, don't look at your partner bogus when your partner does it. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, nah, you got to clean house first. So that's why I'm like, okay, when guys say they won't date a female who, I guess, which y'all would consider a hoe. But niggas don't give a fuck that they hoes. I mean, they can do all type of hoe shit. They can have a girl at home and no, 17 side bitches. I'm about to say, no, you can't necessarily say that. Tell them some nigga won't marry a hoe. No, you can't say that. I mean, but when they do, it's like seen as taboo. Like Niggas this, still talking shit about Kim and Kanye. Because motherfuckers know that she's a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Wait, they talking about Kim and Kanye? No, no. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, a minute, for a minute, I started thinking about M. I was like, no, because I'm about to say Amber kind of like been holding it down, but no, no. but Amber got slut walk. She let motherfuckers she, know, like she did that slut walk shit. I understand, but that shit. But I feel like at the end of that, niggas wasn't fucking with her when she was saying that shit. But it's like because that shit is goofy. I have a lot of respect for niggas who respect Amber. Like it makes me look at them different. I feel like it's a more open-minded view. And to me, being open-minded is attractive. So that's something I, you know, try to look for in others around me. 
But no, back to Kim K. No, Kim K is a fucking slut though. You know what I'm saying? But like, she married. And we ain't heard nothing about her sleeping around since she been married. Popping out mad kids for dudes. So it's like and then it ain't even just Kim. It Why they even, still talking shit? It ain't even just that. Then you got to understand. It's, but wait, but niggas would do the same no, thing stuff? Like, oh, everything Kim does bit, no, is no, the same thing bit, niggas do. No, it's a little bit different with Kim because you got to understand the machine is behind Kim. Kim is a Kardashian. There are stigmas that come with her and her fucking family. When you deal with her, you deal with the fucking family. So we was pretty, motherfuckers really more so mad that not even just Kim K, you know what I'm saying, what she doing, but it's like, nigga, like you, nigga, you, you're a Kardashian now. So nigga, you joined the family, nigga. Like that's pretty much any male that gets involved with them. That's what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if it had been somebody else, if they wasn't, if they didn't have that whole, like, I guess, Kardashian back in behind me, I don't think it would have been as bad. But I think it's just the whole Kardashian thing. Then it's like you got the Jenna dude doing his whole, you know what I'm saying? You know, trans <laughs> ginger thing, you know, <laughs> at fucking 60 years old. Like, that shit is fucking crazy. Let him live his truth. <laughs> like, that shit's fucking crazy, bro. Like, that shit. Let him live his truth. Like, that's, 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 <laughs> that's the midlife crisis that yeah. he wants to act out on, never got a chance to. That's what happened when you have money. I mean, shit, he had money before, but I guess he just like, shit, I ain't got shit else to do. No. No, you have a midlife crisis when you got money, they be blowing it on extravagant shit. Yeah, like a fucking foreign car, Corvette. Or <laughs> like, what the fuck? You went and got fucking titties on you. Oh. He like titties. Titties are nice. Now he can run them all day. That's because I guess he was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm around all these fucking women. I'm going to show you how real women get. <laughs> go ahead, get these titties done. What they going to do? Put me on the S piece. <laughs> Dumb as hell. Talking about this. Man, what they talking about? Woman of the year. Like, that shit. <laughs> that shit was such a fucking slap in the face to women every fucking yeah. way. Especially, we got a lot of dope female athletes. <laughs> like bro like you and I don't I not think that might have been shit right before Rhonda even got her ass kicked like over Rhonda nigga what the fuck over Rhonda mm -hmm. Rhonda beating bitches ass breaking bitches <laughs> arms all type of shit what the <laughs> fuck Rhonda <laughs> man fuck out of here fuck out of here what over Maya Moore, nigga? What the fuck, Sometimes Maya? They do that because they know it's gonna make a, a statement. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like that's the only reason they do it. Man, <laughs> only thing I gotta say, hey, it's gonna sound like some hard shit, but it gotta be said. I hope you women take this shit receptively. Y'all women better get y'all shit together. <laughs> no, I'm real shit, cause this whole. <laughs> This whole women with this whole feminist moving board, they gon' they they really stepping on y'all fucking toes. They really trying to take y'all place, bro. <laughs> it's gonna get to the point like women, damn, they gonna have like a they ain't gonna have a, no voice and shit. Cause it's crazy. Cause how the fuck can you compete with that? Especially with this whole gender shit. I could be a whole grown ass man coming at motherfucker talking some idea if I was being a woman. If I say that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's like, then dare you to to challenge that shit. Bruh, all, everything goes out the window, all logic. So by that means, my rights are damn near more significant than yours because, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the whole, like, transgender transgender phase or whatever you want to call it, whatever the case is. They gonna be more... Con they gonna be more conscious about step hurting my feelings and being cautious where what the fuck going on, as opposed to you being a real legit woman. Like that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. And I could be like, I'm doing this for women and like I'm doing this for feminists everywhere. And the feminists be like, but what? But I'm a natural born woman. Like what the fuck are you talking about? Like, like bro, that shit. It's a slippery slope. Slippery slope. <laughs> That shit was so fucking crazy. 
all the beautiful natural women out here i don't give a fuck what creed color you are as long as you're natural you ain't got your you know what i'm saying didn't know the extra shit anybody could have been on the cover of any one of these women and shit like how the fuck do y'all give it to this individual like mm-hmm. that shit is crazy i don't understand it yeah like you know like i'm a man i feel like i'm a manly man you know what i'm saying like macho man now i was offended by that shit <laughs> for women for real i was offended by that shit.